Okay, so listen, listen. I met this boy in Miami, right, at a fight party. And it was really fun. We had the drinks flowing, you know. We was talking shit back and forth, which I love to do. Um, and so, anyway, I don't even remember who was fighting the night. But by the end of the night, um, he was like, you know, I'd really like to hang out with you again. It was so nice meeting you. All that, right? So, I was like, um... We had sparked a conversation about like going to a fight. I was like, have you ever been to a fight? And he was, and I think he said he had, or he, maybe he had enough. Who cares? So anyway, I was like, well, what's up? Let's go to the next fight. And we looked up the fights there, and it happened to be Kodo's last fight. I was like, Kodo is a goat. Let's go see his last fight. And he's all for it. He's like, hell yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So mind you, this is supposed to be like our official like first date, right? So he was like, um, yeah, I really want you to come. Um, you you buy your ticket there and I'll take care of everything else. I was like, okay, that's cool. And I was like, okay, but this is our first date. I want my own room, okay, and I need floor seats. Okay, we need to get good seats at this fight first sign first sign that I should have blocked his ass or not even talked to his ass we got I got to the hotel I think I got there before him I got there before him tell me why there was only one room booked one bed I was like, oh, okay, you got some slick shit, okay. And I told him, I was like, um, we're gonna need another room. I was like, I was very specific, or I was very clear. He's like, oh, ain't nothing gonna happen, I can get another room, blah, blah, blah. I'll sleep on the couch, I'll sleep on the floor, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I let it go. We're about to head to the fight. We go to the fight, we have such a good time. We was drinking, talking shit again. It was it was a vibe. It was really fun. So after the fight, fast forward after the fight. After the fight, we we go out. We're just driving around New York, still drinking, still having a good time. And around that time is when I noticed like his phone is like buzzing like crazy, like it's 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 buzzing. So I was already like side eye and like, why are you buzzing so much, nigga? Uh, oh, I can't forget this part. Hold on. <laughs> Riding around New York getting drunk, blah, blah, blah. We stopped by a sex store. Okay. We stopped by a sex store. And I'm like, oh, let's go see what's in here. We walking around and I see a Hitachi. Do you know what Hitachi is? Google it. I broke my Hitachi. <laughs> I broke my Hitachi. Like the cord got stuck in the wall. And it was so funny. Like I was playing tug of war trying to get the cord out the wall. Like all my entire body weight pulling up against the cord. And I ended up flying back and the cord was still stuck in the wall. So anyway, that's what happened to my Hitachi. So I saw the Hitachi. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. This looks so much fun. So he got it for me. So anyway, we get back to the hotel. And he excuses himself to go in the shower. I'm like, okay, cool. Do your thing. You know. And he leaves his phone out. So you know what I did. I got that buzzing ass phone I've been buzzing all night. And I start looking through it, right? First thing on the screen I see is, oh, where are you at? You probably out. Um, you out with some bitch. You probably out with some bitch. You, you can go and spend money on all these bitches. But you can't send no money for your child. T. So I'm like looking at this shit. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, let me stop there really quick. Because like. I don't care what you're doing, who you're out with. You should always be available to your kids, no matter what. That's just parent law number one. 
So anyway, I see that and I'm like, Ugh. and then more buzzing comes in. It's, <laughs> I was a little drunk that night, so I just remembered something so petty that I did. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, so I see like two or three other threads from girls like trying to have a full on heart to heart with him, asking him where he is, telling him they love him, all this other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And mind you, this guy all night was like, oh, I could see a future with us. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You want to blah, blah, blah. I really like you. Okay, he's still in the shower. I, I saw everything I had to see, right? I, I saw all the, all the foolery. So I pack my bag. He's still in the shower, my name. I pack my bag. I put my Hitachi in my bag. And then I'm out. I go get another hotel. And I haven't talked to him again no, no 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 let me not lie let me not lie he hit me up on the gram he slid in my dms and he was like oh i know you're hurt because those messages you saw can we talk about it can i get another chance blah, 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 blah. okay no no more chance take care of your child Go take care of your job. You don't need to be going out on lavish, expensive dates with me if you're not taking care of stuff at home. And it already sounds like you have three situationships, three, four different women in love with you that you are already <laughs> causing some emotional trauma with. I'm not trying to be number five. So after I got that message from him on Instagram, no response. Guess what I did? Guess what I did?